All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to make some touch controls for a mobile port of your game. All right, so to make some touch controls for your game, you obviously need to have a game or a project already created. And in this case, we have ourselves a little platformer with collectibles. I can see the uh, the jump it seems to be a little broken, but we can still uh, see it and hear it. It's a little curious as to why that's broken, but that's not important for now. All right, so our jump is a little messed up, but you see, we have a we have ourselves a little game. It works fine. That's all we need for going over how to do this. Now, what you may want to take a look at is going up into your project settings. And we're going to look for, I believe it is the input, or is it mouse cursor? No. Input, input, input. Input devices pointing. And you can emulate mouse from touch, and you can emulate touch from mouse. So we're going to turn on touch from mouse. That way we're able to test our touch buttons. All right. And of course, we're going to need some buttons. So I'm going to go over to my UI here. And I'm going to go ahead and add in to my UI into my canvas layer. I'm going to add a touch screen button. And this is going to have the left arrow. And I'm just going to move that up into my normal. And I can move that down. All right. And for the action, if we look in the inspector, for that, you just have to go ahead and specify the name of the action that you have inside of your input map here. So I'll just be having my left arrow would just be called left. For you, you might be using like walk left or walk up uh, or something like that. Uh, but as you see, mine is right here. It's just called left, right, and jump. And those are the only buttons I'm going to make for this example. So I'm going to come in, left. I believe it was with a capital. And right, we're going to go ahead and add another touch screen button. This would be right. And we'll move that down. Um, and we'll have one more and that'll be our jump. And I'm going to use the A button for that. Now these are just really simple buttons. You can make these very easily. Go ahead and we can uh, run this. That was there. Excellent. All right. And we can test our game. And that shows up. Left, right, all right. So they're working. So I did not screw up the uh, naming of my action. Now, obviously, you'd have uh, two. Uh, you'd be able to press two buttons at the same time here, like right and jump. Which, if you're using a mouse, you're not going to be able to. But if you have a touchscreen uh, computer, then you can go ahead and do that. See, our jump is still uh, really messed up. But all right, so that works. Now, it's something that you may want to change is you only want your touchscreen buttons to show up if we have a touch device, right? So if I were to go up here to my settings, general, and if I turn off the emulate touch for mouse, my mouse is no longer going to be seen as a finger. And if we run it, I'm, I still have these controls. I still have these controls on my screen, but obviously I can't touch them because we're not emulating a touch. But if you can imagine, if you're playing a regular game and you're not using these touch buttons, this might get in the way a little bit or might be a little annoying to have on screen. So what we can do is actually go to our three touch screen buttons here. And we can not do, we don't have to do any code with this, but actually inside of our inspector, we can set our visibility mode. You see it's set to always by default. And we can set that to touch screen only. And with that, if our uh, program here detects that it is on a touch screen device, then our touch controls will 
show up, and if not, then they should not appear. So you see if we run it now, they do not appear. Everything's fine. And if I were to go into our project settings and uh, emulate the touch again, and restart that, now it's you can see it's a touch device, and we have our touch screen buttons. Alright, so that's how you can... Uh, quickly and easily do some mobile controls for your uh, mobile port of your game.